हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो इन द पाइथन पांडा सीरीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न जॉइंस सो बेसिकली वी हैव फोर काइंड ऑफ जॉइन इन एस क्वेल एंड सिमिलरली वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन डू दिस काइंड ऑफ जॉइंस इन पांडास वेन वी आर वर्किंग विद फाइल्स और हेट्रोजीनियस डेटा सोर्सेज वे आर द ऑल द डेटा इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन डेटा बेसिस वी विल नीड पाइथन to do, join the data from the multiple sources right so we will learn in this in this video how we can do all kinds all four kinds of joins i will explain the concept in pandas as well as i will show you in sql server so that you can relate to it okay and do like the video and let me know that how it is the panda series is going and i accordingly i will adjust the style of teaching okay so let's start so what i have done is I am using PyUDBC and Pandas two libraries. This this library I have to use to connect to the SQL Server. So I am directly connecting to the SQL Server and read the tables. I can read from the files as well, but just to have the same same data in SQL Server and Python, I am directly connecting to my SQL Server. So this is the connection string, and this is how I can connect using PyUDBC dot connect. Then driver is SQL Server. This is my host. This is database master, and this is connection is yes because this is windows authentication i don't have to go give username password and then i will use pandas to to read the data of the different table and join them together okay so we will be using employee table and department table let me show you those two tables so these are these two tables emp table it has 10 records and department table has 4 records and if you see the department in this table are 100 200 Three hundred and five hundred, right? And here we have hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and four hundred. So in this way, I can show you all the joins. Okay, so let me read these tables first in the Python. So I will go back to the Python. So I will write the SQL first. So let me write the first SQL. So I will say query one equal to. I will just say select star from EMP. This is just my query string. Now when I have to read it in Pandas. There is a function called pd dot read sql. So I will call it as data frame underscore emp. So this is emp data frame pd dot read underscore sql. In this I have to pass two things. One, what query I want to read. So this is my query, right? So first parameter is this. Second important parameter is connection details. So I have to tell connection, right? So this is the connection you have to use. Otherwise, how it will query this EMP table? So now I'm going to run this and see what is happening. <coughs> so I have run this. So if you see, it is successfully run, and we have these variables created. So one is this connection variable, right? Another is query one. So this is the query one I created. So this is simply select a star from employee, and this is a data frame. Data frame is it is a pandas data frame. It looks like a table itself. So if I click on here, df emp, I will see all the nine records, right? If I go back to SQL Server, I had one, two, three, four, five, six till ten records, and here also we have all the ten records, right? One to ten. This index starts from zero. So zero one two this is pandas index data frame index by default created. It starts from zero. We don't have to worry about it. We have ten records here. So, uh, so we are directly reading from this table in the Python. Okay. Similarly, we will read the department table as well. So I will just copy this quickly. Also, I am using uh, Spider as my Python client. You can use anything else if you are comfortable with anything else. In this, I I feel good. It is you can see all the variables here. You have console also. So I am using this one, and I will use I will read now department table. I will name it as query two, and then I have to pass query two, and this will be another data frame created, right? I will call it as DEPT, right? Now all these connections are already created. I can just just execute these two lines instead of whole code, right? So I can say run selection or current line. So I will do F9, and if you see. Uh, data frame department is also created. In department, we have four rows: hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. I hope so far it is clear. It is easy to read tables from SQL Server into Python and putting into data frames. Right? Data frames looks like a, a database table itself. Okay. So now we have to join them. So let's start joining them. I will call it as DF inner join. 
we will start with the inner join right so how i have to join so again we have a pd dot merge there is a function in the pandas merge we can use it to to merge two data set to join them together okay now what are the parameters we have to pass so if you see it automatically show me what are the parameters we have to pass so we have to first give the left data set right so in the inner join or left join we have to we have left table and right table right so first i have passed left equal to so my left table is emp table right so i will say df underscore emp so i have to pass the data frame right comma right equal to right table is df underscore dept right comma now how i want to do what i want to do i want to do inner join left join that i have to tell so how equal to inner this i have to give in single quotes because the inner is not a variable right inner is a string value so i have to give in single quotes or double quotes anything works right and that's it and the last parameter is we have to tell on what column we have to join right when i write a sql i will write a sql also and show you but when i am joining two tables i have to tell on what column i have to join so i will say on equal to equal to so what is the common common column department id right i have to join on department id so i will say department id that's all these are the parameters i need i will go ahead and run this command so this is run now we can see df inner join so if you see in df inner join we have nine records because for 400 we didn't have department id okay let me go to the here first and let me quickly do inner join here so in sql how we, i will do inner join select from emp inner join dept on emp dot department id equal to d ept dot department underscore id right so if i run this now we have got nine records right because one of the record department id 400 is not present in department table so that record is not coming in a join only the common records will come so if you see the last record 500 is not coming that's why we have nine records because 100 200 and 300 are there which means our result is fine in our join right and we have all the all the columns employee id employee name department id salary manager id employee is department name so we got department name also in the output now in sql we have the liberty to choose what columns i want to see right here but in the pandas by default all the columns will come from left table and right table so from both the tables all the columns will come in the output right now there is one more thing which is very important here if you see i have put on equal to department id right it, which means i want to join on department id which is a common column but you know it is it is a possibility that in the both the tables this column name is not same right it is possible in one of the table name is department id and in other table it is dept underscore id let's say right then how i am going to join it okay so what i will do I'm going to rename the column. So when I'm reading this, this table, I will say uh, department ID as DEPT underscore name. Okay. Comma department name. These are the two columns, right? If I go to department, we have de department ID and department name. So department ID, I'm just DEPT ID. So I'm just changing the name of this department ID as DEPT ID and then department name. That's it. So now when I'm going to run this, the column name will become department ID and this, this statement should fail, right? Let me then hold from here to here and show you. Okay. Now if you look at df underscore DEPT, the column name is DEPT ID, not DEP ID, right? And here it is DEP ID in the employee one. Now, if I run this, there will be error. So it is in key error department ID. Why? Because department ID is not present in department table. 
so if the column names are not same in that case you have more parameters you can use other parameters you can say left on instead of directly on now you can't use on because the column names are different so you can say from the left table the column name is dap underscore id right and from the right table it is pept underscore id right so in that way you are telling that column names are different from left table the column name is dp id from right table it is dpt id now i will run this and it has run and we have df inner join created with nine rows also one more important thing because the column names were different they have created different columns so dp id is also there dpt id also there when the column was same in both the tables we had only one column so this is also of important thing to notice that if the column name is not same of the joining key you will get both the columns in the output by default okay in the future videos we will learn how we can draw columns to filter data and lot of other things but for this lecture you have to consider that all the columns will come in the output now let's move on to the other kinds of join okay so i will keep this way only left on right on which is fine so that we can see both the department ids so i will change it to left join now right and run this so currently we have nine records because i am doing inner join right one record is dropped so i will going to run this f9 so you see now we have 10 records so all 10 records are coming now right and if you see rakesh is also there and this value is none so in pandas it is called as none values it is similar to the null in sql okay so we have none none and for everything else we have all the data right which means left join is successful let me run this in the sql server just to show you quickly so instead of inner join we are going to do left join in that way all 10 records will come and null null is coming for rakesh similarly here for rakesh null null is coming i hope this is clear okay let's do right join so instead of saying left i will just say right and run this again so the df inner join has again 10 right because th uh, the rakesh is not coming but there is one extra record in the department table right for that record is coming because we are doing right join all the records from right table will come let me do this quickly in the sql server so i'm doing right join so this for this department there was no employee but since we are doing a right join all the records from department table will come so this record is also coming so the nine records which which were, which were part of inner join are coming and from the right table this extra record is coming and everything else is null there is no matching record in the employee table but it will come because it is a right join and same thing we are seeing here okay so we have all 10 records i hope this is clear now last one is outer join which is full outer join so i will just say outer and run this again here we say outer just outer in in uh, sql server you will say full outer right so let me run this so now we have 11 records right so we have rakesh also null null and this also in full outer join you will get everything so all the records of inner join and extra records of left table which is this one and extra record of right table which is this one so we are getting everything similarly if i, I if i have to do here so i will say full outer join and going to run this so we got 11 records so these are the records which came from inner join right this is extra record from left table which this didn't have matching record in the right table right and this is extra record in right table which didn't uh, don't have a, a matching record in left table i hope this makes sense so this is an important concept in pandas in future when we will join, uh, solve more questions this will come into account so please please make sure you understand it do practice i will do i will give you insert a script of these employee and department table in the description box so do try yourself make this connection if you're using anything else sql apart from sql server like postgres mysql then also you can just google and find out how to connect to your sql 
server or any SQL database from your Python. It is very easy. We have libraries for everything. So PyOD basically only you can use for to connect to anything. Uh, please do like this video. If I get a good response, I will make more videos on Python. And thanks for watching it. Have a good day. Bye.